Nan Tofu. Yeah. yeah. Crew Coast Basketball episode number 46, season two, first basket. All right, so we're going into Crew Coast Basketball episode number 46. It's time to go against the Titans. Attack on Yosen. Attack on Yosen. If we're even going to score one point against them, oh, definitely, of course, duh, Satan has to. But I mean, this is not, this is completely different from going against the other golems because now this is just going against not humans. We're going against monsters. We're going against a beast. Seven foot, eight foot, nine foot, three Yao Mings in one team. It's like putting Yao Ming, Shaq, and like Dwight Howard or something or in one team. So it's now it's like superheroes versus magical, mystical creatures, big feats. Big feats, yep. You found big three foots. of them here. All right, guys, and I know you guys can't wait because I can't wait either. This is going to be a great match for the best offense versus the best defense. Hold on to your seatbelts. Tofu, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Start the show. show. Dude, mm. I feel like these guys are not going to score till later, later. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the other two Ah, giants. there it is! <gasps> well, oh, here it is! Let's go, Ignite! <laughs> oh. Wow! Cyclopass! Where's Murasaki? <sighs> ah. oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> He's just like a dead zombie. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not coming in, little child. <laughs> so this guy doesn't even go for the... Freaking offense, so they can't even counterattack. No. <laughs> He's just lazy. <laughs> he doesn't want to run down the court, that's why. <laughs> Alright, oh. Captain, right here. This, this is point. the only place he can score. Please, no big hands. No way. Oh, oh he touched it. Wow. Dude, <laughs> hold on. This is not even fair. No. It's like they have to shoot, like, up, so up, and then go straight like, in. Like, Yeah. No, no, don't sleep on Satan. All right. Ah. Wow, dude, that guy is. This guy doesn't even go on offense. So what? So you can't even counterattack against them. You can't really shoot outside because they still can touch the ball. But one good thing is they don't know how to catch Kuroko's passes, at least. But that's useless if we can't even get a shot in. Now I see why Aomini says that even for him, it's hard to score against Murasaki Bara. Mm. 15 seconds left of the first quarter and no, no points. Oh my gosh. God, they're so big. Ha, we got blockers oh. too. Yeah. Yes. But still, it's, it's about, they, they don't even. The big guys. They're not even sure if they can rebound. This is where Ironheart is put to test. Strengthening grip? Ah, so Ironheart's going for the defense, he knows. What is that? He just threw a, a, a rock? rock? <laughs> mm. Next is like, here, grab a boulder. <laughs> here. Come on, we got the iron heart, okay? Oh! Now we got iron grip! A Vice claw. claw! Nice! Ah, so, uh, we still did a score, but still, that's... Something. Oh because, my gosh. Yeah, the coach said that the 18 and 20 is makes a big difference. My god, mm -hmm. dude. That, that's just yeah, there is no opening. You gotta shoot in the half court. Oh jeez. Yeah, they gotta freaking score from the inside. But that's up to this guy. Yeah. I mean it's yeah. gonna go watch. <laughs> he ditched oh. the shopping trip. <laughs> Oh, so he's surprised that they didn't at least get one uh -uh. score. Nope. No baskets. Man, look at this defense. It's too good. Yeah. They're trying to finish them off. Yeah, they're just trying to, like, everything. Mental game, score, defense, everything. They don't even want them to score one point. Oh, oh. dude, Ironheart versus Budas Hakibara. Oh, nice fake. In yeah. Oh, no. No good. What is he doing? Oh, oh the... around! Ah, <gasps> Ali Oop! Oh my Kagami. god! Nice. Oh no. Oh my gosh, this guy can just turn too. Hey! What? Oh, oh. Kuriko! Shoot it! Don't Come on. Shoot it! 
Oh, so this is what he said. <laughs> They're like, dude, I, 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 like you haven't. Even, I'm not sure if you can do it. No. Yeah, of oh, course he's, he's not expecting Kuroko, so you know. Yes. Oh my gosh! Look at his form. <laughs> what a silly form. No, it's okay. I believe in Kuroko, man. Come on, give me that first basket. Oh, he's already trying to block him. Oh, wait, what? Wait. What does it mean you can't stop this? It's like his drive. Uh, what? <laughs> it disappears. <laughs> How did they incorporate that? <laughs> oh my god. How in the world? <laughs> so that's what it meant. The first basket, it comes from Kuroko. Two points. This should be like breaking news to everybody watching this game. They'd be like, what? Kirkle scored a point? Yes, Josh should be dropping. Oh, look at Murasaki Bada. He's like, what? <laughs> He's getting yeah. mad, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I guess this is where we're going to find out how he learned that invisible shot. Too easy. 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 Oh, so that's oh. how, why his form looks like that. His shooting is like passing. So that's mm. how, why it looked like that. He's so mad. Mm. <laughs> I hope you'll be careful in the future. <laughs> of course, Almina is the best person to learn that from because he has the free form shots too anyway. Almina is just too cool. Mm-hmm. Man, we still haven't seen um, Kagami's boy do anything yet. Dude, Kagami's getting boxed out, man. Ah! Uh, wow! How do you, how do you beat, how do you really beat them? Oh, you were there the whole time. He didn't even feel this guy. <laughs> he didn't even know he was. Oh my God! Come on, go. another shot or invisible drive this time. Oh yep, invisible drive. Haha, <laughs> that's his first time experiencing it too. Nice. Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes. this Trick is the pressure shots. we're talking about. Three points! Yeah! See, if Kuroko knows how to shoot, he becomes more dangerous. A lot more dangerous. Dude, Kagami can't do anything at all. No. <laughs> Drop your hips, what? Yeah. That's how you do it. When you box out, you gotta use your hips. Oh, really? <laughs> All simple stuff. Boxing out. He's basically telling the boxing out, use your hips. Oh. And Kagami should have really strong legs too. Yep. Endurance. <laughs> yep, get lower. Oh? Yeah. Because even when doing? you are lower, you can hold them. Oh, you, you can hold them like this so that they can't. Oh. Not dip it up. Oh. Uh, yes. Yeah, nice. Who is it? Wow, oh. Vice Claw. Dude, we're seeing a lot of Vice Claw. I like that name. Counter attack. Let's go. Oh, now it's Budasaki. How are you going to stop him this time? Pass it, of course. Ooh, oh, under his leg. The way that he just glooms over him. Vanishing. Yup, vanishing shots. Oh, he's getting so angry. I love it. <laughs> he's not getting his way for once. Murasaki mm -mm. is like a freaking whale. Durr, durr, durr. <laughs> yup, that's, oh. that's true too. That's not what freaking, that's not their 100%. No. Dude, imagine Burasaki Bara in the zone. <laughs> Game over. Yeah. Oh, they already know they got a bench Kuroko in the first, uh, second half. Their coach is pretty smart. Oh, so, yeah, misdirection overflow against Josen is not possible. Because it's already been seen? No, I don't think it's that. 
Ah, oh, oh. so it works against like the outside shooters, but for inside, not really. And this team is an inside. Oh, it's up to Tepe? Yeah, man, Vice Claw, let's go. <laughs> man, we still have C is remember his invisible shot. He hasn't He hasn't even scored like scored or anything yet. Yeah. Tepe versus Murasaki Bara? Yeah. <laughs> Kagami's like, damn it, I wanted Murasaki Bara. And the other coach is planning this too. Actually, uh, Kagami wants this guy anyway, right? All right, second let's half, go. let's go. <laughs> Two fists! Good luck! Is the fist, yeah, giving them both. I'm so happy Tepe can shine again. Oh, triangle, triangle offense. offense. Granny. Oh, she's calling her granny. <laughs> she heard it? <laughs> what? Dun, dun. The intense dark music. Here it is. Ooh. I don't really like this guy, though. Me either. Yeah. So next episode's gonna be... Kagami and his friend. Yes. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm not really feeling... Uh, any attractiveness to his friend. I think it's more because just like he just came in all of a sudden he's just like, I don't I'm not your friend or I'm not your enemy all of a sudden. It's like dude. He's so sour faced. Yeah, why is he, why are you so sour? Alright. I mean alright, so Kuroko shot, let's first talk about that. Oh yeah. Not only can he score, but it's also invisible too. Yeah, the invisible he shoots shot from his palm. Yeah, that's how I used to shoot in high school. You did not. I did. I had to shoot with my palm. I used my palm instead of flicking the wrist. I saw kids do that in school before, and I thought it was funny. I didn't know it's like an actual technique. Well, I had to that back then because for me, uh, this was when I first started playing basketball. I was weak. I was like really, really skinny. Like I'm skinny now, right? Yeah. But back in high school, like on my freshman, like early years, I was super skinny. So to shoot a three, you know, I don't have the power to make a jump shot. Boom, like this, you know. So I had to like really? palm it and just really push it to the oh. to the rim. Yeah. But later on, you know, once once I start to get a little bit more meat, then. I could I could start shooting like this. Oh. Yeah, but before I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't invisible though. But even if it was invisible, I mean, it's not like my shots went in. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> no, it's kidding. just like those little shortfalls. <laughs> it's like doing. <laughs> nah, but Kuroko, we saw him make his first basket with that shot. Yes. Uh, which is surprising because he actually scored against Murasaki Bara. Yeah. Okay, not any, anyone else, but he scored against the Colossal Titan. Props to that. I mean, now I can see why Murasaki Bara is so mad because, number one, he's the victim of Kuroko's first shot. Yes! <laughs> His face gotta be, like, hang on the wall saying, my first point scored against <laughs> Murasaki Bara's face, you know? That's why I'm sure this guy's really pissed off. Number two was, you were confused about why lowering the hip and lowering... Yeah, boxing. You know, like boxing out basically so when if you are weaker than the whoever the rebounder is like for for instance Dennis Rodman I keep saying Dennis Rodman but he's one of the best defensive player right yes but he ain't the tallest player in NBA oh you see yeah yeah he's strong he's hustles hard so when you're standing up straight mm -hmm. and you and I push you you fall off balance yes but what if you get down and you plant both of your foot in and then I start pushing you you see, I won't, oh, I won't yeah. move. Yeah. But then if I was standing up straight and you push me, it's Oh, like it's I see what you're saying. But when you're planted on the ground, two foots on the ground, two feet. and you use your hips to hold and you use your hips to push them out. Oh, like push that's out, what push it is. Box it in. Okay, I get that's it. That's what boxing is. So it's like you have to get low and you got to push, push, push. Like here. <laughs> here. Oh this is God. fine. Sorry guys, I'm wearing pajama bottoms right She's now. She's wearing pajamas, yeah. And Here, box me out, box me out, box me out. Okay, let's. Okay, so let's say that. Okay, obviously I'm stronger than you, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm stronger than you. So, uh, let's say try try to push me back, just not not low, but just like this. Try to push me back. Oh no no, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. Hold on, what am I doing? <laughs> Okay, here, just go like this, and I'm gonna box you off first, okay? Okay. 
It's easy, right? You're, you're going back, right? Yeah. Now I want you to put, plant, plant, hold, hold, hold me like Kagami did. Like this. <laughs> hold it. Where am I holding you? Just hold my back like this, right? Okay? <laughs> now I'm gonna push back. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean? Am I teaching you wrong? I don't know how to No! Do. Like this. I have a bad knee, I don't know. Go, now, now push back. Push back, you can't. You can't, it's too strong. It's too strong, right? It's too strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like something like that, I don't know. But you just gotta... You gotta box out, box out, box out, okay? The rebound's coming, rebound's coming. There you go, gom murasaki bara, tofu saki bara. Me? <laughs> yeah, your tofu saki bara. Oh, cause I can push you? Yeah, good job. Okay, so yeah, basically that's what it is. Use your strong hand, uh, legs, hips, uh, lock, get locked, locked in. in. Well, for a rebound, you know, box them out, you know, box them out. Box, got it. Yeah, box them out, and then obviously when the thing comes, that's when you... Uh. Okay. <sighs> So, what else is there now? <laughs> uh, Murasaki Bara. Oh, the vice grip. Vice claw. Vice claw. Not sorry. the vice grip. Claw. <laughs> claw. Sorry. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Freaking, I didn't. You know, I mean, Tepe does have big hands to do that. Yes. Right? Now he's got grip. Yeah, he's got the grip. I I really like that they're putting Tepe Ironheart versus Murasaki Bara. Me too. Because if you think about it, Murasaki Bara is the the light. Generation of Miracle. Uh huh. Tepe is a shadow of the Generation of Miracle. So if Tepe can beat Murasaki Bara, dude, Tepe, the next generation of, I mean, not really the next, but you know, he just, as a shadow, beating the main Generation of Miracle, that's pretty big. Well, that and then, um, wasn't it a couple way back when, uh, when Tepe, not Tepe, sorry, when Kagami met his friend when they were gonna do that little fun. Thing at the, the street park. Ball? Yeah, yeah, the street ball. Isn't that where they started the beef versus Tepe and Murasaki Bara? Uh, well, Murasaki Bara just remembered who Tepe was. And then he got eh, Yeah, and he then got well, sour. Yeah, he got sour. It's like, ah, you're that guy. Because, like, Murasaki Bara, for him, like, nobody really gets on his mind. Because everyone's just, everyone's trash for him. You know what Murasaki Bara reminds me of? What? He reminds me of like a big bratty little kid and he's just playing with toys and he's always a little bored and then he's, if something doesn't go his way, he just crushes it, but he's just this evil That guy is kid. a kid. Yeah, he's just like a bratty little kid. Yeah, he's a kid. Remember Kagami knows how to mess with his mind? Yeah. Yeah, so Murasaki Bara is like a kid always eating chips and you know, uh, I don't know. He's It's funny because... They make the the biggest player, the monster, most monstrous most player, to be the most childish one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like basically, if you see like other animes or something, you have this really big villain or big guy, and he's yeah. like a the child. Bully, yeah. He's like the child or something. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think that's what's going on with Murasaki Bara. But I do like the fact that when he is playing in the tournament, mm -hmm. they don't really show him trolling too much or showing so much of his childish side i guess oh no actually it does show a lot of childish side. he's very childish so the more that i watch of him he's just becoming an annoying little brat to me really <laughs> yeah i actually like the character of murasaki bara do you yeah i actually really do i don't yeah. uh, like at first i thought he was going to be fun and interesting but the more i watch him he's just a brat he fits well as one of the villain yes and you know if you really think about it if they would take a generation miracle and make him actually the strongest defensive player then i mean giving it to the center is correct giving it to murasaki bara yes and um i think the fact that murasaki bara is like a little child and you know he has this long hair like just the way he looks yes <clears throat> i personally like it rather than you know the guy next to him with the big job or whatever yeah yeah something like him being a generation of miracle you know yeah i, I like the I like the style of Murasaki Bara I and his character, how he's portrayed in this. The big guy, that guy looks like he's like 40. He reminds me of somebody off Grand Blue. <laughs> That's right! The Does Grand he? Blue, the, yeah, 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 that guy, right? The big sumo. The big, the, the, no, the, the dive, diving, Divers. yeah, the diving guys. Yeah, that guy looks, because when I see him, I'm like, man, this guy looks like he's 40 or something, man. Yeah. Man, he's got to be playing in the high school. He's got to be playing College. In the, NBA, yeah. not even college, NBA. But that was Yosen 
versus Satan. Um, really funny because uh, sec now we're going the second half and both the teams are under 30 points, which uh, is really, really low. It's very low, but mm -hmm. then we're way behind. Yeah, we are way behind. No, I don't think we're way behind. We're like single digits behind by now. But uh, Hugh got started to get his shots in. Yes. And, you know, Kuroko, his driving plus his vanishing drive plus his vanishing shot, you know. Did good this episode, but next episode he's going to be out. He will be Kuroko? Yeah, he's not. He's sitting out. Oh, he's sitting out the next episode. So, the, yeah. So, the next episode we're going to be seeing Kagami and Ironheart. Yes. You know, and, and we're going to be a little bit mix of Hugo in there, too. Because yeah. Hugo always scores. Of course. That guy always scores. So... Uh, can't wait for the next one. I think this is where we're going to be seeing Kagami's ability, the next ability, whatever he learned from Alexandra. And um, in the fourth quarter, when K Kuroko comes back, that's when bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, and then after that, we're going to be looking forward to... Uh, I'm just... Uh, whatever. You know what? I'm going to enjoy the against Murasaki Bara because I do like this a lot. I really like how, uh, you know, the strongest offense going against strongest defense, I, I want to see this. Because you know how they always say defense is the best offense? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, they, uh, oh, they do? Yeah, it's a saying where they say defense is the best offense. Oh. Yeah. But I've we'll see about that. that. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. All right, guys. That was Cool Coast Basketball 46. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys very soon. Yes, we'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Bye.